Welcome to Lesson 10 of my Visual C Sharp Language Series. In this video, I'm going to discuss application deployment and more. Okay, so in the last uh, nine or so videos, I covered the extreme basics of the Visual C Sharp programming language right from installing this integrated development environment into um, the basics of creating uh, object-oriented uh, applications. And uh, for many reasons, because of the uh, YouTube limit and elsewhere, in fact, I actually had to split Lesson 9 up into two parts, I covered a very extreme little of the language. And the parts which I actually regret the most is that I did not cover uh, some type of variable types. Um, for example, like arrays, I didn't cover. I threw out a data binding tutorial because I ran out of uh, space. And I didn't even cover a lot of the basics of object-oriented programming. For example, I didn't uh, cover inheritance, namespaces, and several other uh, stuff. I may create a, an advanced uh, Visual C Sharp series where I cover more of object-oriented programming and other uh, concepts, but uh, this may or may not happen. So uh, I'll talk about a little more about this uh, after I do the bulk of this tutorial. So we're going to do something a little bit different as this is the last video. We're going to go up to online templates and we are going to, um, as well as demonstrate deployment of an application, we're going to uh, take a look at this um, example application right here. We're going to go here and we're going to select the card game starter kit. And then we are going to call this lesson 10. Okay, and it should download this. This will take a couple of seconds. New install. Okay, so here we go. Uh, these are the one of the 20 or so starter kits that you can uh, download from the internet uh, through Microsoft uh, Visual Studio. And these kits were created by uh, some of the guys at Microsoft in order to show uh, examples of uh, proper coding and how to get started in certain stuff and this is the a game so let's go ahead and compile this application and see how it works I believe this is yeah it's a blackjack game new game um let's see how do we do this deal I guess I have to place a bet deal okay I want to stand and the dealer won okay well, my guess is that this game is rigged of some type. You can read the um, manual right here showing how all the code uh, works. And I'm just going to slightly dip into this because I haven't even looked at all this code. It looks like we have a framework and or a namespace. You can call it a namespace too. And it's a set of classes on um, which show how which um, demonstrate how the game works. So if you want an example, a truly object-oriented uh, program that uh, is a little similar, uh, similar to a real-world program, you may want to take a look at some of these templates here. Okay, and of course you can modify uh, some of the code here as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and deploy this project. We're going to go into the project menu and we're going to select a publish a lesson 10 and after looking through my videos there's a glitch if I ever go into the pop-up menus right here you can't see it but now you, you'll see it just go into project and publish okay so specify the location to publish this application here um, you can uh, choose a server a local server if you have one you can publish this to an FTP server or you can just publish this to your hard disk in that case that's what I'm going to do next you can choose um, where it's going to be installed and if it will check for updates or not uh, you can only do some of these options if you have like a home server say visual uh, server I mean sorry Windows Server 2008 or Windows Home Server or say running WAMP server okay. next and then finish. This will take a couple of moments right here. Okay, 
and it says down here the publish has succeeded it's opening up my desktop here so this is my desktop and we have three new um, files here we have our applications files which contains all the stuff for our game documentation images resources our uh, exe and more this information here uh, you need all three of these files in order to install your game or whatever application you can't just copy the setup I already tried that they're all dependent of each other so if you want to install it you just double click on the setup file and it will walk uh, through installation of this game and I don't want to install it here okay well this is the default way for doing it for a visual um, C Sharp Express edition now if you have um, Visual Studio you can actually uh, create uh, installers uh, using uh, a special uh, setup project and it's on one file so that's one of the pluses of having um, Visual Studio or you can also use some third-party installation programs like Install Shield and actually a light version of Install Shield is included in every version of Visual Studio 2010 um, not the Express Edition though. Okay, so this was just a small little uh, tutorial here on how to deploy your application. And now there's a lot of things I didn't cover. I was trying to make this language more of a code-based uh, le lesson series where I cover code and not much of .NET. So if you're you're probably uh, wondering how to interact with forms in these ways, like uh, a lot of common questions I get asked is how to uh, load and save files, how to have like um, tray icons, how to uh, just do everything with .NET. And to learn, it's very easy. All you have to do is find the class in the .NET framework which does it, and you just have to learn how it works. And once you do that, you can use the component. And that brings me over to this site. This is where I learned the C Sharp programming language. And this is where I believe everyone should learn the C Sharp programming language or Visual Basic language if they want to learn it. Um, this is a site uh, that's off of MSDN, so it's fully uh, uh, subsidized by Microsoft. And they pay uh, professionals to write tutorials on the programming language here. So um, the guy who actually writes these, he has a website called learnvisualstudio.net. And he's an absolutely amazing teacher. And these videos are about 30 minutes to an hour each, so he can actually get in all the content, unlike I was able to. I actually based a lot of my video series from the Absolute Beginner series here. Okay, so and this is just a more on the language. So if you want to learn a little more, this guy covers object oriented programming and the .NET framework as well. And he actually he even has a project here where you create your own application. And now what's uh, even cooler here, there's a section called Windows Forms, and this teaches you some of the cool stuff within the .NET framework, like how to add audio and customization dialog controls and all this other cool stuff. Okay, and now that you have the slight basics of Visual C Sharp, you're probably going to want to uh, get some books or resources, and I'm I have Amazon here and I show the two books that I use but you're going to want a one a really big book that explains everything from beginning to end in uh, tutorials and well written tutorials and you can use it as a big reference guide so that if you ever have a question of the language in any way you can consult this book um, I use the Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2008 step-by-step -step. this is the 2010 version um, I think it's a good book, um, but not, not as much for tutorials as more for reference. But um, the, tu the tutorials on object oriented programming in this book are actually pretty good. And you're also going to want to get a small book. Now, this is C Sharp and Easy Steps by a guy named Tim Anderson. The book actually covers uh, Visual C Sharp like 1.0 back when uh, Visual Studio.net was like in the 2003 version. But, um, it's very similar to the 2010 version and all in the code. And this uh, will serve as like a really quick reference book if you want to learn something. Okay, and the other thing I want to show you is my own website. 
over the past couple of years I've done a few uh, programming videos and some of them cover how to get started in doing things in C Sharp like my, my uh, most popular programming video of all time which is uh, how to program an operating system demonstrates how to um, program a bootable operating system backpacking on a C Sharp kernel using the C Sharp programming language and then I have uh, one video on titled how to create a custom installers in Visual Studio um, using the uh, default um, template and another one how to use install shield and I have a few others uh, not necessarily all of them on uh, pr on the programming C sharp in general like I have uh, some uh, web design here but you may want to check these out and of course you can uh, look up on YouTube if you find a user that has sense in what they're doing <laughs> so um, this is basically it for my 10 part series I hope you enjoyed the series please uh, leave uh, feedback in the description on whether I should continue making series like this or continue with what I have been doing here um, this series again was aimed at people who, uh, who are complete beginners actually I meant for them aimed for like a uh, VB script kiddies or people that just want to get started but we're having trouble uh, by the people on YouTube who were trying to teach you and they didn't even know anything so Again, I hope this helps, and for more tutorials, please go to thehackersjournal.com.